Hi, today we're going to learn how to make daisies. For this we require double sided grey paper, two in floral colour and one green. A thin wire for winding around, a thick wire for the stem, pencil, scissors, plier, glue and a floral tape. Cut out templates according to the instructions given. All the measurements are in centimeter. This is a template of a petal. Cut one piece of it. This is a template for a stamen. This is 15 centimeters long. Cut one stamen and one sepal is required for this. This is how it will look. The petals which each petal separate like this. The stamen and the sepal. And I have cut out all the, all the pieces. The sepal, the stamen and the petals. Take the thick wire and holding one end with the plier, bend it to form a loop. Like this. Make the loop a little tight. Like this. Then take the stamen cut out, fold it in half with the color that you want outside. Fold it in half lengthwise. Press the edge and then pull the edge in opposite direction to form a kind of a frill. This is called crimping. Do it all along the length of the stamen. This is how it will look. Now cut about 1 cm long cut on the stamen on the crimp side like this. Put this cut side in the loop like that and then put the glue put some glue all along the length of the stamen. And then wrap this paper around the wire. Keep the top of the edge straight as you are winding along. Put some more glue at the edge to stick the last bit. like that. This is how it will look. Now just wind a wire around the base to tighten it. Pull it and then twist the ends. Now put some glue on the top part of the sepal or the stamen sorry and the petal on the right side of the petal now put this petal round this top part of the stamen so that the just the cut part should you know should just come above the top of the stamen like this and then wind it do it a little carefully when you reach the overlapping part make sure that each petal comes behind the cut of the other petal it does not come behind like this stick the last bit This is how it will look. Now tie the petals with the wire. 
pull both sides and twist the end of the wire. Now you take the cut out the sepal and cut out the top like this. Just about half a centimeter long cuts, very fine cuts and stretch the paper a bit and then put glue on the base of the flower all the way till the base bit on the wire and taking the sepal stick it so that this feathered end just covers the wire of the petal not over, not don't go too high stick the end again with the glue like this and then press the bottom part onto the wire like that now put some glue at the base of the sepal a bit on the wire also and then take a bit of the floral tape pull it out and then stretch it a bit and stick it on top of the sepal on the glued part start from here and then slowly go down and keep pressing so that the tape sticks well to the sepal take it all down to the wire you can make the length of the uh, stem as long as you want or as short according to your requirement cut off the extra bit and stick it this is how it will look now you take the flower and you press it open press the petals open don't worry if the, some of the petals come behind each other that we will just handle like this then you take a knife uh, a pair of scissors and pull the petals like this upwards now you have to position the petals where you want them and curve them a bit to give it a little bit of natural look and this is how your daisies daisy would look